What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the right game. Okay, I'm gonna buy the Aatrox. We have Riven and Sivir. Mythic Crown. Going long. This is Prismatic. No, it's Pot of Gold. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about a Guard Breaker. I have like zero Mythics. Build a Bud. So, Pot of Gold. This is a map where you want to survive until 6 1. Build a Bud is going to help. I love Build a Bud. This thing is really good in the early game. Get me a Malphite 3 and I'll play it again. Damn. Fire. It's not Malphite, bro. But yeah, our goal this game will be to make it to the levels, bro. Alright, let's go green. So I got a two-star Kha'Zix. I would like to play Ink Shadows, because it's Jax. But the thing is... I need Senna. Alright, let me make 10 gold. We got a Zyra. Somebody playing Senna this game. This guy also has build a bud. I should gonna slam that. Yeah, I'm gonna just slam a BT. This guy has 3 star Ari. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to win. I do have a Reforger. If I want to slam that off Jax, we can. But I might, I might try to actually attempt use a... I might actually attempt a Jax 3 game all the way through and never sell him. So Jax actually does some damage. You can see it at 2300. You can give him like BT and Titans. I think I've tried Jax 3 with BT and Titans before and I got top 4. Actually it wasn't that bad. But this is why I like Build a Bud. Build a Bud gives you actual viable routes. Routes you can use Malphite 3 to get top 4. You can do Kogma 3 to get top 4 as well. And I think Jax 3 also works because I played him several times in ranked with Build a Bud. It actually isn't too bad. So we're gonna see how what happens here. All right, let's grab a. Uh, let's grab another Negatron. Okay, we got two star Riven. We level five. Uh, let me see. Honestly, okay. Actually, I'm gonna bring a Rek'Sai. I'm just trying to make a lot of money. So the plan is just go level nine. So you just keep winning, winning, winning. Wither Jax 3. Use your strongest build. Which is 3 stories for me right now. Uh, this guy's gonna play Ash for sure. Oh no, there's an Ash player. You can see this. Build a Bud Jax. He's holding up the line. He wins a lot of your early games. And then you get to level 9. We got a bow. I might actually hammer the glove off. Let me see what items I get. Giant spell, bow. Huh. Large rod. Next guy we're finding is this. This guy does have 3 star Rexai. There's two build of buds. Yeah, so the Rexai 3 guy went level 6. I'm going to go level 6 as well. So I'm going to do 4 wardens. I think this is... I was gonna do uh actually I should run a Zoe. Um but I think four wardens is pretty good. Ionic Spark Jax is probably good. I just don't know if I should do that. I know I'm gonna beat this. Um Possible six wardens. Possible. So we're still at 100 HP, too healthy. Too healthy. Best friends. Uh, if I bring in Zoe, I only have one 2 HP champ. 
I mean, okay, I'd, I'd bring in Nor, I guess. Dragon Spirit. I would say there is a lot of AP. But I think I'm going to go for 2 healthy. I think 2 healthy is overall better. Should I go... Bro, I don't know. Or should I go Titans? Actually, I'm going to go Titans. I might just build Morello. Maybe I'll go with Dragon's Claw. For final Jax item. Jax offers you weapons from different armories. Alright, let's see what this is. Artifact would have been really cool. Artifact Jax. z -Rop Portal. I'm gonna go Aegis. Aegis of the Legion is always good. Just give that. So somebody is going for Nar 3 Rek'Sai. This guy already has an orange too. Damn. I'm gonna lose this one. Can I not beat this? It's not it's a Nar 2, it's not a Nar 3. Actually I can beat this. Rek'Sai 3 has no items. But he does have an orange 2. I guess it's the orange 2 that makes it effective. Nah, they doubt- dude, meta TFT's doubting Jax, it's not 5%. I definitely win this. Look at this Jax, bruh. What a beast. Jax actually good. Yeah, we still clapping these people, bruh. Still clapping them, bruh. I guess I'll go large rod. All right, sniper player easy. Wait, what? Twenty four percent. Ah, something's wrong. It's not twenty four. One star Felius is that good? Nah, dude. I'm telling you, Meta TFT is doubting Jax three, bro. Jax three is actually good. Okay, yeah, we're gonna level up to seven. I got some Nikos. We can bring her in. All right, so we got Lux as well. Yeah, let's bring in Nico. I do see Spark Jacks working. All right, this dude is easy. So we're, you can see we're making a lot of good econ because we didn't lose a single round. We're slamming as many items as possible to help us win. We should definitely be getting a top four this game. So another great game of build a bud. Jax3 showing that he is actually not bad if you give him a chance. Would I pivot away from Jax? I could or I may not. Yeah, if I pivot away from Jax, probably have a better chance of getting first at the very late game, but we'll see. So we could try playing Jax the whole game and see like if we can get first place. We could try doing that. Alright, let's go fast level 8 here. Still got 50 gold. So we got 4 Arcanist and 4 Wardens. That's probably the best thing to do right now. You know, I should probably bring in Lux. Lux is more too healthy. Syndra is better, but Lux is uh, too healthy, so. So we got forward and four Arcanist. Yeah, I'll just go Ginsu. I don't want to build Ionic Spark because I do have a green kill. So right now, Ionic Spark would be kind of a waste. This guy's playing seven stories. I could play Irelia as well. Ir Irelia is one of the options for us. Alright, here we go. 
long as his pals. Spirit Guardians. I could do Spirit Guardians, never sell the jacks, and try to get a win. Should I really do Spirit Guardians? Okay. Stand United. Um, I decided too late. It was not supposed to be Stand United. I was gonna do Spirit Guardians. Damn, that sucks. Stand United is good for late game though, so I guess it's fine. I guess it's alright. We'll probably pivot away from Jax. So I you say you want to win or loss. So we did lose. This guy doesn't have Nar 3 yet. There's uh, these these everybody else looks stronger than me. So I'll probably go on a loss streak here. Alright, so we're staying united. Probably gonna play Irelio. Stand United Irelia can use the items. She can use Ginsu and Morello. Those are not bad for her. I can. I got a Lee Sin. Jack's items go on to Lee Sin. But you guys can see that Jack's really helped us to get to level nine and get to a top four. So that's the power of build a butt. Very strong early to big game. It is one of the best prismatic augments to take. And I really actually enjoy taking build a bug because you never know what you're gonna get, so it's really fun to play with build a bud. All right, let's get the bow. That's gone. Let's get the tier. Gold collector Zaya. Let's go adapt the home. Agents of the Legion grants you attack speed, armor, and many resistance to the allies that get buffed by the spirit. Look at that Zaya, man. Deleting everything. Yeah, so what we're doing is we're making... Damn, this guy is set too. And at least into... What the hell? I'm glad I didn't play Wardens. Because if you play Wardens, you want to set. Stand United is more flexible. So what we're doing, we're just making all the money possible. Next round, we're going to start ruling at the Raptors. So let's level up here. And uh, let's roll down. So we're going to sell you. Goodbye to everybody. Nobody's playing Irelia. I mean, it shouldn't be hard to get, right? It shouldn't be hard to get, but so far we saw zero Irelias. What's going on? Exalted is Irelia, but I didn't see anybody with her. Yeah, we should be hitting it. We could play Exalted. Early way Soraka. I didn't get any Sorakas. Weird. Okay. Uh, so not too bad, actually. Do 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 do. I think I'll go with Thieves Glove for more items. I go Adaptive Helm, Lee Sin is actually not bad. He's a caster. Hmm. So we did it, Irelia too. Okay, this guy is playing Irelia. He does have one, but it's fine. I didn't get a single Soraka. Soraka and Hui would be good. That's what I would probably go for. Or it's gonna have to be Zyra. Elude. 
Maybe I should play a loon. He is exalted. There's Soraka. Okay, I just sold the lead. So you can do a loon then. Where's my Rakan? Uh, would I go full? Double Gensu. I don't need- I don't need Crest to sign her. It's kinda weird. Combo. I don't know about Double Gensu. I don't know about Static Shift. Okay, I think I should go Static Ship. I don't know about Double Ginsu. I'm getting so many Aurelias. I think this is the comp though. So no Wukong. Yeah, it's no Wukong. It's definitely no Wukong. I was gonna do Double Helm and Rakan, but I realized it's actually not... Best choice, I think. I'm gonna get an Irelia item next round. This is seven fates. Yeah, okay, Irelia needs one more item, but it can't be double Gansus. I think I beat him. Oh, no, I didn't. I need one more item. Okay, Runa's is really good. Too bad that's gone. Runons on Irelia is actually really strong. So Infinity Edge, I guess. Let's get it. That one's okay. There's a Hui. But Hui's actually worse because he doesn't give me Invoker. Alright. Yeah, Hui is actually worse. Alun is better. So we're getting that 16% bonus damage. Wukong would be heavenly. So Wukong could possibly be better. The only thing about Wukong is that you don't get exalted, but he does give you heavenly and sage. He does activate two traits. You can see Rakan is actually doing a lot of damage here. He can use BTN Titans. It's basically like Lee Sin. My board is still too squishy right now. I still have two. I mean, I don't have like. I still need like two star Soraka maybe. I guess a Loon, Janna, not a big deal. Two star Lee Sin would be nice, but. Roots are already easy. She's gone. So this is the Irelia and Rakan carry game right now. Okay. So this lobby right now, we got seven fates. We lost to him. We beat everybody. There's one story guy. He did hit two star Irelia. So we might get a second. The only guy we lost to was... I'm gonna try to go level 10. Oh yeah, we can go level 10 because we have pot of gold. So go level 10 here. Remember at 6 when you get money. When you get the Wukong in, you're done. I didn't see that many people playing Wukong. Lee Sin still being a pain in the butt. Lee Sin still being a pain in the butt. Okay, so I probably build Edge of Night. Start itemizing Wukong. So this is your full build at level 10. And now I beat the Syndra player. He's trying to go at 0 3. Okay, actually I'm getting first. We get him first, boys. I got I got the strongest team in the lobby. 
I'm pretty sure of this. Everybody did go level 10. This guy's level 9. Steel. But... Here we go! Okay, 7 story might be my hardest opponent. But I did beat him last time. He just has a lot of Sage. And he does have 2 star Aurelia. I'm doing Dragon Lord Irelia. Okay, looks like I, I clapped him. Boom! Just gotta beat him one more time. If I two star my these four units on the bench, yeah, there's no way. The other guy lost to my ghost, I think. Just need my two stars, bro. I think it's over. I think it's over. Sell the lease and give the item to Wukong. Yes, we could have done that. Yeah, we could have done that. This was the last round. But I just didn't do it. I think I'm still going to beat him. I would be surprised if he beats me here. I don't think he... Wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. So him positioning away from my dudes... Want him. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, I think I'll just take the lease in too. I think I need more two stars. I should put my guys in the middle. Trying something else out here. Okay, it says I'm gonna win now. I think it's just positioning. Yeah, it's just positioning. So the closer we are to Zyrelia, the better we have a chance. Putting in the middle, boom, just destroyed his whole team. So there you guys go. We got our first place with Build a Bud Jax awesome game into dragon lord irelia thanks for watching subscribe and like